Hello and welcome back to my playthrough for Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. We're right here where we left off, right outside the doorway to the Altar of Courage. And then we are going to make our way... Um, well, we have to get to the Altar of Courage. We have some combat rooms to get through. And then we will be... Uh, at the Altar of Courage, and we can make our way to Dungeon to Stars. So let's get a rolling in that direction. Okay, so we need to leave here to the east. So there is a... I already see a, a hidden thing that's probably going to be the switch that we need. So we will not be going out the west. We've already been that way. We know there are more monsters um, there and, and a fair amount of gold. Uh, but, but we don't need to rehash what we did all those many months ago. Whoops. So let's just see if we can get these guys killed a little bit. Just, just slightly killed. Not completely dead, just mostly dead. And then we can make our way out of here. Okay. Oh, Joffrey, you got a sword. You need to get a little closer than that. I need to get Joffrey up and out of the way is what I need to do so somebody can come up behind him and actually attack this dragon or at least help. And Iolo. Ugh, the guy that misses more than anybody else. Alright, so... Alright, so... Um, Katrina's closest to that to that spot so we are going to have her go up there and step on it I think that's going to open up the secret passage we need and then we can get out of dodge and get on our way we've got at least one more combat room to get through All right, yeah, we can't really go any further with those two until we get the secret passage opened. All right, and there we go. Just like that, our way is clear. Okay, and we got a bunch of these trolls here and we might kill them and 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 get some um get some gold and i think maybe me and, and uh dupree or joffrey rather we'll, we'll handle that and we'll start everybody else on their way um i might keep one of the um one of the people that have a ranged weapon I guess this this Jana there behind Joffrey. Maybe I'll use her um, to kind of back backstop him a little bit. I don't know if we're gonna get to a point where he can really engage with anybody, but we'll try. Well, Joffrey, you got to be a little closer than that, buddy. All right, very good. All right, Joffrey, there's your big shot. If I don't kill him. I did not, but he's heavily wounded. It helps if you hit them. Okay, I guess, Johnny, you can head out. Let you rest your sword arm a little bit. All right, you're done. For the moment, Joffrey. All right. Nice of them to line up for us. I always like that when they are so accommodating. 
to our desires to end their lives. Lives? Lives. All right, good. All right. Get more of these people out of here. Get this last guy killed. All right. Very good. I'm going to send everybody out and I'm going to go down and get the gold. Eighty nine gold. That pushes us over six thousand gold pieces. Beauteous and another seventy four. Very nice. Okay, and then we are in a little room. We are gonna head north, and this should take us to the altar of courage, and it does. All right. We've got some of our little dim demon friends here, as we usually do. Or a lot of times do. As we saw last time, it's not always the demons, but it seems to happen more times than not. All right. We seem to be doing a lot of missing. Okay, that one's fleeing. That one just got missed. But that one must be kind of slippery. Have a high dodge. Have a high dodge uh, quotient there. That one's still fleeing. Come on, Joffrey. Finish him. There we go. There we go. Okay, let's take a peek at the notes real fast to see where we need to go to get to the starred. So, back to the Dungeons and Stones. We are in the Altar of Courage. The star is to the north. So that's handy. We can just have everybody scoot to the north from here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's head northward. All right. I'm kind of excited. Um, I wasn't quite sure how long it was, it was going to take us to get through these dungeons. Um, so on one hand, it's been more than I thought it would be. But on the other hand, I'm really pleased at our progress. Although I will say that the spies was horrible. And um, yeah, I had to look at some stuff on the wiki, but I don't feel... I, I don't know how people did it in 84 when they didn't have wikis, man. <laughs> I really don't. All right, we are on level eight of Dungeon Distard. So let's appear to gem. Okay, so this is an interesting configuration. Um, we've got to go north, and then there's a secret wall, and then there's what looks to be a series of five combat rooms and then a ladder going up and then behind a secret a secret wall another ladder leading up so i'm not totally sure what direction i want to go i do know i'm going to ignore the combat rooms you know we've done we've done all but one we've done what how many we've done six i think so far uh of these and not one of them have had a stone in a combat room. I don't think it's going to be there based on how the mechanics of this thing are working. So I'm going to ignore the combat rooms uh, because we're after the stones, not necessarily about grabbing every little chunk of loot that there is. I'm curious about the two up ladders, though. Um, I'm curious if we should take the one that's inside the secret, it past the secret door. And we might do that because it doesn't cost us anything. It's not a combat room, generally speaking. Um, just to take, because that one might be 
more, you know, I guess we'll see, but you know, that one might uh, take us someplace where we need to be. I think that's what we'll try. Worst case, we'll have to come back down here and we'll try the other letter, but I think we'll give that a go. So we'll go north here. All right, so we've got secret door. And then we got all these doors that we're going to ignore. We've got a ladder up here. Secret door, oops. Time for the light spell to go out. And here we are. All right, let's climb. We are on level seven. And it looks like there's nothing here. But let's double check that. There are no secret doors that we can see. So I'm not going to bother peering at a gem. Let's turn and go back west. No, I'm sorry. It would be this north. And let's climb this one. And here's something bigger. Right. Or something different, at least. Let's peer to gem here. So that's interesting. I don't know if the other one, I didn't take it up to six or anything. So I guess we don't know. There are different routes. There are different routes of where to go. Um, the question is, is one of them the right route and one of them the wrong route? I sure as hell hope not. You know, I think just for Chucks, we're going to climb... We're going to climb. We're going to climb. I'm going to check for... All right. And I'm just going to keep doing this until we find a secret wall. Or we get a dead end. Or we find a level. We're on three right now. All right. I think this is going to be just total. We're on level two. Climb. Oh, level one. Interesting. Well, let's appear to gem for here. This looks to be a lot of nothing. It's interesting. There, there are combat rooms there. We'll go ahead and I'm not going to worry about exploring this. This might just be a place to get some money. And obviously, I don't think this was the ladder went further up. I guess we'll see. Maybe this is one of the main entrances. But there's nothing that shows us a, uh, that the stone is here. So we are going to ignore it. And you can't get out of here. So I'm not quite sure what the purpose of this is. But we're going to go back down to level 7. Yep, I got I to gotta descend to level 8 and then go north, and then climb the level seven. All right. So we are gonna come over here and come up here and go through this door, which is an empty combat room. That's really strange. But I guess, you know, not everything, not every chamber in a dusty dungeon is gonna be populated, right? Oops. So why not? Well, this will be an easy one. Just make our way across. I'm not going to say no to an easy room. So let's just go across the bridge. If we have to come back this way. It'll be interesting to see if there's anything in here on the way back, but I don't know why it would be because every room has had the exact same baddies going through one way as it did the other. So, okay, so we are going to go south because that's the only direction. Looks like we get to to have some fun with some ground ones. There we go. Burned your face. Hope you enjoyed it. All right. There's a magic arrow for your face. Ooh, I like these one hits. There we go. Somebody fled. Wow. 
I guess our reputation precedes us. Cause we haven't everybody we've 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 hit landed a hit on before that guy um was a one hit. Not you. <laughs> Joffrey's like, I wanna attack, I wanna attack. Well I'm not gonna let you get within striking distance of these guys. Sorry. Mr uh Mr. Melee. Another one fled. Wow. Okay. And then there were two. Okay, so that one that's closer to the top is fleeing. So we really just got this bottom guy that we absolutely have to do. And now he's fleeing. Done. Let's see if we can get this last one just to clear the neighborhood out. Guess not. All right, 28 gold. All right, let us climb to level six. And then we will peer at a gem. Okay, I'm liking the scale of this. Uh, it's kind of small. We aren't going to worry about the combat rooms, and we're going to continue the ladder up. We are going to climb here. We are now on level five. Let us peer at a gem. I actually might peer again when we... Um, get a little closer to the center there just uh, to make sure there's not something further to the bottom but it, there shouldn't be because there's no secret passages so it should just be going down I'm not going to bother with the combat room there that's strangely in the middle of the of the corridor alright got some slimes that want to uh uh, Katrina, 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 Katrina. And I move Joffrey over too, because he's going to be able to do a lot. That's it. Line up for your butt, for your butt whooping. All right. Very good. So we are heading. south and then we're going to head east and here's the ladder up but first we got these guys to take care of shouldn't be too big a deal I don't know why I moved Katrina but because if they get down here I got no problem with her taking on an orc or I think these are trolls to be more precise But I'm guessing our rain stuff is going to uh, take care of these guys long before they can get into melee range. Of course, I guess it depends on how much Missy Missy we do. All right, you can just stay there, Joffrey, because if you get down that far, just hold your horses, Katrina. Uh, if you get down that far, you can hit him. And as it turns out, he didn't get down that far. And he's fleeing now. There you go. 92 gold. I must say the um, the chests have been better. It feels like this dungeon. We're getting lots of high two-digit chests. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, let's peer. Ooh, lots of, lots of, oh, man. I mean, we don't really need the gold at this point. We're at 6,200 gold. Much as it would be nice to go through the combat, but then we'd have to go through this combat room twice, and I'm pretty darn sure that's going to be a combat room. And we are on mission here. So, and that mission is to get the stone. All right, so we're going to go up, and we are going to go through that combat room. We're going to exit to the north and take the ladder up to level three. Um... 
and hope we find the stone soon. Really? It's dark? Didn't I? I feel like I just cast that. Like at the beginning of this episode. And it didn't say there was a trap that there's winds. That's kind of weird. Holy hell. I don't know what pink is. Red is probably going to be lava. I'm guessing all of this is stuff that we don't want to touch. <laughs> that doesn't take... And we want to exit to the north. So we are just going to very carefully walk through the strange pink and red and purple force fields. Oh, they're fighting us. Oh, these are, what are these things? Well, I guess we're fighting. Phantoms, really? I mean, phantoms, I thought were usually the, um, they're like a sword. And, and a a sword and a shield that's just kind of hovering that nobody is that you can't really see I've never I've never seen these before this must be a strange dungeon variety but that's okay we'll get rid of them since they're attacking us and there's a lot of them and they're getting in our way have we killed any yet? Yeah, we just killed one. It's hard to tell. It almost feels like they're on top of each other. They probably aren't. It's probably just optical illusions. Because they're changing colors constantly, it's tough to get a sense of what I'm looking at here. But I guess we're slowly winnowing the numbers down. Uh, Joffrey, I should have you move up. Good job, Katrina. All right, another one gone. All right, get up there, Joffrey. I don't know what it's like to fight a purple pink wall, but knock yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and she killed the one that was right in front of you. Sucks to be you. All right, let's get through these guys. They do a lot of missing, but they're also a a a uh, some sort of non. Uh, I was gonna say non uh, corporeal, but they obviously have got some sort of a physical body. I guess, since we can attack them. I'm not sure how that works. It's kind of like fighting twisters. How can we shoot an arrow into a twister? It's wind and cloud. Uh, it's not really something that you can damage. You know? All right, let's see if we can get rid of this last one here. And other people, I'll probably work on getting out of here. We're leaving to the north. Yes, we are. Perfect. Okay, looks like we have some trolls to take care of. Only three. Shouldn't take long. Only two. 
All right. This should be relatively quick. And Joffrey, you can't do anything until they get up there. It's probably up to Dupree. Shamino may be able to go over there and help. That guy's fleeing, huh? His buddy isn't yet, but we also, I don't think, have hit him yet. There we go. Got him. Oh, there, he's fleeing too. Okay. Troll fleeing. Well, I think we knew that. That's not news. All right, good. All right, we're coming over here. And up here. And we're going to climb to level three. And we're going to appear to gem. We're actually going to get out of here and we're going to do it again. We're going to get close to this door and we're going to appear to gem. Okay. We see more dollars. I'm not sure what the dollar sign by itself means. I guess it means there's a chest there. We've got some orbs and we have a combat room. And um, yeah, we're just going to go straight through. We're just going to go straight through that. But we are going to do that next time. Uh, we're going to leave this here. We'll take a quick nap here, get people's health up that need it. And uh, then we'll be back at it again. Hopefully we'll be finishing up our last dungeon, not counting the abyss. Dungeon to start getting the stone. Um, the problem is, is we have to retrace our steps to get back to the uh, altar room to get the third part of the key. So I'm, I'm a little bummed that we're so high up. And it, once again, it might be, it might be quicker to just exit this dungeon and go back through high Foth. We've got those couple of combat rooms we have to get through, but we know what they are. <laughs> They're not that big a deal. Uh, Cause we've done them so many times at this point, but um yeah, I'll think about that next time. But thanks for watching, and do come back for the next one. And until then, be seeing you.